In this video, I will explain how to simplify complex rational expressions in a very efficient way using a giant one. First, I'm going to briefly show you how people usually solve these equations. First, you find common denominators for the numerator and the denominator. Then, you combine the fractions in the numerator and the denominator. Then, you rewrite the complex fraction as division because that is what this bar means. Then, you change the division to multiplication and simplify the fractions. Finally, you simplify and get your final answer. This is the method that most students learn in school, and it does work, but there's a much simpler way. Instead of all of these steps that we just did, we can literally do the same problem in basically one to two steps and I'm gonna show you how. And if you notice, you basically did two steps to your problem instead of the previous five or six steps that you had before. Let's do another example. Just like in the other method, you wanna find the LCD. However, instead of finding the LCD for just the numerator and just the denominator separately, we're gonna look at the entire fraction or all of the denominators because we want to eliminate all of our denominators. So for the numerator, our LCD is going to be AB. And for our denominator, the LCD is also going to be AB. We are then going to multiply the entire fraction by what is called a giant one, AB over AB, consisting of our LCD for the entire fraction. Now we are going to distribute the AB to the numerator and the denominator. It may help if you think of this as AB over 1 and AB over 1. You don't have to, but that's something that may make it a little easier when you're distributing. You're going to distribute AB to 3 over AB as well as negative 2 over AB, and in the denominator you're going to do the same. I will write this out for you. So first you have 3 over AB multiplied by AB minus 2 over A multiplied by AB and that is divided by 4 over B multiplied by AB minus 3 over AB also multiplied by AB. Next you're going to simplify. So AB and AB simplify, the 2 and the A simplify, the B and the B simplify, and the AB and the AB simplify. If you notice, all of your denominators have been simplified. AB, A, B, and AB have all been crossed out. If all of your denominators do not simplify, then you have the incorrect LCD, because in the next step, you're going to have a single fraction and not a complex fraction. So the last step is you just write down what you've simplified. So in the numerator you have 3 minus 2 times the b, and in the denominator you have 4a minus 3, and you're finished. In this problem I'm illustrating the traditional way that you simplify this complex rational expression. Now I'm going to show you the short way. First you find your LCD of all four fractions our LCD is going to be XY. And you multiply their entire fraction by a giant one, XY. Next, you are going to distribute the XY to every factor in the numerator, as well as every factor in the denominator. Writing it out, this will give us one over X times XY plus 1 over y times xy, and in the denominator I will have 1 over x times xy minus 1 over y times xy. Again, you're multiplying the entire thing. And now we're going to simplify. To simplify, x gets simplified, y gets simplified, x, and then y. If you notice, you should have no denominators left, so when you simplify this, you just multiply 1 times y on the top, which gives you y plus x 
over y minus x. Now, please remember that you cannot simplify this any further. Because of the plus sign here and the minus sign here, these are terms. They are not individual uh, monomials. They are actually binomials, and they cannot be simplified unless they're exactly correct. So this is your final answer. So basically, we took this problem that had one step instead of solving it with multiple steps. Now we're going to try one where the LCD and the numerator and the denominator are different to make sure we understand that concept. Here is the traditional method of doing this problem, which takes multiple steps. But now we're going to see how to do it with a giant one. First of all, we need the LCD of the numerator and the denominator. In the numerator, the LCD is x squared and 25. In the denominator, the LCD is only 5x, but we need the LCD for the entire fraction. So even though the LCD for the denominator is just 5x, right, we also need it for the numerator, which is x squared times 25. So this is going to be 25 times x squared is going to be our LCD for the entire fraction. You're going to multiply that throughout the numerator and the denominator. So we're going to distribute this 25x squared to each term in the numerator and the denominator. So for our numerator, we have 1 over x squared times 25x squared minus 1 over 25 times 25x squared. And in the denominator, we have 1 over 5 times 25x squared plus 1 over x times 25x squared. Simplifying, we're going to simplify first. So the x squares cancel here, the 25 cancels here, the 5 and the 25 simplify to a 5, and the x and the x squared simplify to x. We are then going to write out our final answer, but make sure you notice that all of my denominators are all gone. Goodbye, 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 all gone. So that gives me on the top 25 minus x squared, and on the bottom we have 5x squared plus 25x. In this problem, we cannot cancel out the 25s or the x squareds. However, we can try to factor this to see if we can simplify it anymore. So this is the difference of perfect squares in the numerator. So we have 5 minus x, 5 plus x, and in the denominator, we have a GCF of 5x, leaving us with x plus 5. x plus 5 and x minus 5 in the numerator and the denominator are the same thing, and so they will simplify, leaving us with our final answer of 5 minus x over 5x. Thank you, and I hope you have an awesome day.